I have no self control. Do da, do da. I have no self control, and that is no surprise. Hey! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, which means it is time for another Star Stable update. And by the looks of my intro, you all know what that means. I go, I, I have no self control. I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, so Tinkers are out today. I have been waiting a very long time for these horses. They are so fluffy looking and I cannot wait to get all of them. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Uh, I know it's been a while since I did a video. I actually meant to do a Christmas video um, last week and the week before. And I actually had the material recorded. I just did not have the time to edit any of it whatsoever. I was really busy with exams and then with moving back to my home for the winter break. Um, so now I'm home, uh, which means I might have some time to do some more videos, depending on whether or not I get bogged down with Christmas stuff. We'll see. Uh, yeah, but let's go take a look at these tinkers. And I think the video said something about, not the video, the friends news thing where are they um okay so one's in fort pinta and the other two are in Valedale. so i'm just gonna take the trailer there because i'm lazy also that noise you hear in the background is one of my dogs teddy he has his little moments teddy hey teddy teddy look at me you good what's wrong you're just being weird yeah, so. Hi, baby. Hi. I know you missed me. I've been home three days already. You'd think you'd get used to it. All right, so here in Fort Pinta, and the tinker is over here, and it is the black and white one. And I need to get down and get a closer look at it because it's so fluffy. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, right, and this is the one with the two different colored eyes. I totally forget what that's called, even though I should know it. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Is it, does it have any idle animation? I'm not seeing anything. Just kind of standing there um, and blinking. I hope that's not its only idle animation. But anyway, we're gonna, this is gonna be the first of three purchases today. What shall I call you? All right, I've settled on the name. Her name is now Guardian Angel, and I'm getting a little emotional. Uh, I have an emotional attachment to this particular tinker, which I will get into maybe later. If not, I'll make a Tumblr post about it. Um, but there is a significance about the name and about the horse and about the horse's nickname. All right, one down, two to go. My star coins are gonna hate me <laughs> for this. I don't even have all my horses trained. I think from the horses that I said I need to train, I have one trained. That's not good. Oh, and as you probably have noticed, I also bought the Fonsi last week. Um, her name is Winterdew, um, but I don't think I like that name anymore. I do have an idea for another name, and why am I running? I don't know. I should just trail her, but I'm gonna keep running. Um, you know what, I'm probably gonna change her name along the way because I'm not particularly fond of it. I could have just changed her name in Fort Pinto. What am I doing? Yeah, I apologize for my dog in the background again. Teddy is anxious for some reason. He's an anxious dog. Yeah, I've got two dogs, well my family has two dogs. Um, Teddy and Benny, they are both Imperial Shih Tzus. Um, and I call them brothers, you know, I'll ask one, you know, where's your brother? But they're not brothers, they're not even related. Um, Teddy we got as a little puppy, and we recently found, uh, we discovered a really cute picture of him, um, which I'm going to post on my Instagram, my personal Instagram. Um, but I could post it on my Star Sable one too if you want to see him. He was super cute. And... Then we got Teddy a couple years later from my aunt when she no longer wanted him. Um, and yeah, they get along great. And I'm stuck. Why do I do this? I have, oh my god, I am so bad at driving. But I swear I have my full license. 
Yes, I want to change my horse's name. I wouldn't be her otherwise. I think I'm now going to call her Snowdrop because I think that's a really cute name. If I can find it. Do you not have Drop? Oh, yes, you do. Thank you. Okay, so this is now Snowdrop. Um, her nickname is Feline. Um, you're probably asking why I didn't name her Bambi. I already have a Bambi, otherwise I would have. Um, even though I'm sure that's quite a popular name for this particular horse. And now to head to Veildale. Oh, I just forgot. I also need to get um, whatever's in my mail. It's the, uh, it's today's, actually, yeah, it's today's, uh, it's today's calendar prize calendar thing which I believe is a saddle pad. I think it's a western saddle pad. I am so glad that they are adding more western gear. Um, I myself am a western rider although I haven't ridden since the summer and hold on my dogs. I haven't I myself am a Western rider, even though I haven't ridden since the summer because I don't have the time or money to. And I don't know if there are many riding places to ride uh, where I'm going to school right now. So that's unfortunate. I miss it a lot. But yeah, it's nice to see more riding, uh, Western riding tack, but I would love for them to, I don't know, add stats to it. <laughs> We don't have a lot of right, good Western gear that has stats. I don't know why I struggled to say that. <laughs> I don't, what's wrong with me? So I have an idea for the uh, silver dapple, the gray dapple. Um, it's probably a really common name, but I don't care because it is perfect. And where is the dapple? There's only one here. Where is the dapple? Okay, here he is. Here he is. Oh, and someone's already riding one. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot to read about the horse when I bought Guardian Angel. Doi. Uh, okay. So there is magic in the air when you see a majestic tinker trotting over a field. It's voluminous mane and feathering blowing in the wind. While its sheer size can seem quite intimidating, one look into a tinker's big warm eyes and you know you've found a friend for life. A horse originally bred by Roma in Ireland to pull their heavy caravans through the countryside. The Tinker, also known as the Gypsy Vanner or Irish Cobb, has been a very had to be a very strong, reliable and robust companion, able to live on little food and enduring any wind and weather. A mix of three different horse breeds, the Tinker inherited its size and kind temperament from the Shire Horse, its strength and agility from the Clydesdale, and its hardiness from the Dales Pony. You need to stop doing that. I'm getting real sick and tired of bouncing back and forth between the door. Oh my god, you are so annoying. <clears throat> The Roma liked their caravans, colorful and richly decorated, and naturally their horses had to be real showstoppers too. The Tinker was the perfect match, rocking not only a magnificent mane and tail and extravagant feathering, but also a distinct pot bald coat. Tinker enthusiasts on Jorvik have taken this even further, introducing a variety of colorings to the breed. With the right grooming, they can even sport a distinctive beard. Right, so. Um, yeah, you can purchase the beard at the horse stylist, which I think is kind of neat because, you know, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting them to do that once I saw the trailer, but still, I like it. I really like that. <clears throat> uh, known for its extraordinarily calm and gentle temperament, the Tinker can be both a patient partner for new riders or even the therapy horse helping you overcome any obstacle. On Jorvik, the Tinker is especially popular with the Druids of Veildale who, who have refined the breed for the cold resistance. For cold resistance. Eh, I can't talk. It's thick and fluffy feathering, keeps it warm, and makes the Tinker into the ideal companion for expeditions into Jorvik's icier expanses. A horse that sports a dramatic look and goes with you through thick and Thick and thin, the Tinker will be a loyal, loyal friend for snowy riding adventures. 
Okay, so yeah, this is a cold tolerant horse. The original Tinkers weren't. I think one of the first cold tolerant horses was the Old North Swedish. I could be wrong though. Um, I just remember getting that horse specifically so that I wouldn't be slow in Dino Valley. And then immediately selling it when the new ones came out. <laughs> I was so bad. Alright, let's get this horse. Um, I already know what I'm going to call it. This will be... Where is it? Where is the first one? Where is the first name? Ah, wait! Silver? Do they not have the right bell? Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to... It's gonna have to be Silver Bell with an E because they don't have Bell without an E. But this is Silver Bell. And two down. The third one's over there. I just could not get that horse and not call it call her Silver Bell. Her or him. It could be him. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> yeah, I assign genders to my horses. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, and you. So this is the horse that um, I found to be the most interesting because this is a horse based on uh, a real life horse from someone in the Star Stable uh, community. I think that is super cool. And now I have no idea what to name her or him. Okay. All right. I have decided on the name Copper Flower for this horse and I will give you her nickname later once I'm back in my barn. And there, all the tinkers have been purchased. But first, I have to get my mail because this is gonna bother me if I don't get it out, if I don't get rid of it. Ooh, I like that. I like that blanket. Again, it doesn't have any stats, which sucks, but what can you do? I have all my tinkers out and it appears they do have uh, idle animations. I don't know why they weren't doing them in their stalls or when I bought them. I can't, maybe it's a bug, but they do and they're sassy and I love them. Um, yeah, I'm trying actually not to cry because this is a bit of an emotional video. So essentially a year ago, unfortunately, a friend of mine uh, who was part of the Star Stable community passed away quite suddenly and her favorite breed were Tinkers. And she was looking so much forward to the Tinkers getting an update and unfortunately she never got to see it and this there's a picture of her riding a Tinker just like this one very similar not exactly but very similar and so I have named her guardian angel um, after my friend her nickname is Hannah which was the name of my friend so Hannah uh, this one's for you <laughs> oh my god Oh man. Yeah, okay. Uh next we up have we have Silver Bell. Um I don't have a nickname for this one. Maybe Silver, maybe Bell. Uh but I love this horse all the same. So cute with the pink snoot. Oh, and look at that mane. It's so fluffy. Oh my god. Oh. And then we have Copper Flower, also known as Marigold. I, it took me a while to figure out this one's name. I could not come up with the right name. And then when I decided I wanted her nickname to be Marigold, I'm like, okay, what kind of name do I give this horse then to match the nickname? So Copper Flower seemed to be the best one. Oh, you are so sassy. I love it. Oh, man. All right, back into your souls. Enough with the admiring. Although, actually, if I want to ride one of you, I think I do. I think I'm going to have to go with Hannah. All right, we're in the Christmas Village because I figured out what better place to try out the Tinker Horse than, than here. I honestly couldn't think of a better place. And, oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at its trot. And it's humongous fluffy tail. I am getting emotional over this horse. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Lope's not too bad. Canter's not too bad either. And yeah, full gallop's pretty good. Alright. Let's see what the rear's like. Oh. Oh, I love it. I love how it just it flings its mane like that. Oh, I love it. I love everything about this horse. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this horse. Alright. Let's get some Christmas wishes because I am running low. Okay, please don't glitch through the ground. Thank you. 
I notoriously get stuck, not there, but at the other jump, and I get, I glitch through the ground, like, so bad. It's, it's not funny. It's a little funny, but, like, I will have it, th have it, mm, it, I'll talk when I'm done racing, because apparently I can't do two things at once. I've had it where I will try to race three times in a row, and I still glitch through the ground like it's nobody's business. And then I end up starting over way back up at the top, and it's like, I'm not going to get there in time. All right, let's go and deal with these yule goats. This black and white one seems to be pretty popular because I just saw another one over there. I haven't seen any of the chestnut or the silver dapple. Honestly, we should get more than 25 XP for, for doing this event, because it is ridiculous, especially since one of the goats is broken. Come back here. Don't make me get the blowtorch. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't set you on fire, maybe. Slippy slidey sliding time. All right, that means the next goat's gonna be the broken one. <laughs> Great. Oh my God. Come back here. There we go. And there we go. There's the broken one. All right, there's another Christmas wish. And now to find the hats. I had a ridiculously hard time finding the hats yesterday. So hopefully um, it won't be as difficult today. I wonder when they're going to release this race again. Because they didn't release it the first week. They didn't release it last week. And they didn't release it this week. So are they ever going to release it? I mean, this update is good until 8th of January. January 8th. Yeah, I think that's when the Winter Village goes away. All right. And oh, there's more. I thought that was it. I thought there was just five or maybe I miscounted and I don't have five or maybe it's actually six I need to find. Oh, there it is. It's a little further away from the rest. Okay. There. That's all done. All right. So I think I'm going to leave the video here for now. That person came out of nowhere. Um, yeah. I had a lot of fun buying all the tinkers and giving them names even though it was emotionally a little difficult. I did love it. I love this update so much even if it's so small. I won't see you next week because next week is Christmas, which means I will be very busy with family and other Christmas things. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year's and happy holidays.